This lady made our dinner awkward. Everyone's been to the style of a restaurant, right? Oh, okay. Watch what this character does to ruin the fun. That was his nickname. Funny, harmless stuff, right? Well, yeah, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, leave him alone. No, no, no. When you make a shot, you say Kobe because that's for him. Instead of just stopping and taking the L, she continues. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said one time for Black Mamba, R.I.P. Right. Like getting it? Y'all getting it? I get it. I, I got it the first time. All right, it's not insult or anything. You know I mean? She's then thrown a second chance. But nothing changes. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said one time for Black Mamba, R.I.P. Right. Like getting it? Y'all getting it? I get it. I, I got it the first time. All right, it's, not, it's not insult or anything. There's no insult. She just does not get it. How don't you get it? I like the way Distractify wrote, going to a hibachi restaurant is part meal, part pageantry. There's an expectation that your chef is going to grill up your food on that hot plate using a variety of flashy quick movements, onion towers, and maybe even a few personal quips, jokes, or anecdotes of their own in the process. Even if the chef is cooking up your grub right in front of you, as the ones at hibachi joints do, you probably shouldn't be harassing them just because folks tend to do things better when they're having a good time. Amen. A happy chef will have you taste the love. So being miserable around them and forcing them into awkward situations isn't doing you any favors. The hibachi worker, as I'm sure we all were, taken aback by this care's comments. Black man what, he tells the woman, that Black Mamba is Kobe's nickname. But the customer still appeared to not like the fact that he was referencing the Lakers star player. Leave him alone, she says. The uploader told Neck Shark, I believe the chef's name is BJ. I started off by recording the food being cooked, and then he encouraged me to record him because he was going to put on a show and have lots to say for everyone on the internet. He also uploaded three more videos of the hibachi chef to his TikTok, one of which shows BJ sharing a drawing he did of Kobe and Gigi before delivering more jokes to lighten the mood around the dinner table at the end of the night. Everyone at the table was laughing and having a good time, the uploader added. Many viewers commented on the positive energy of the chef and the woman's ignorance. One user wrote, man showed straight respect for Kobe and she is mad. So she thought he just randomly mentioned Kobe. Some people, dot, 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 said another. The TikToker ensured that the hibachi worker kept the sitch under control. The night ended well with good spirits and laughter, he said. The Kobe meme got an assist from comedian Dave Chappelle with a 2004 skit to becoming a staple of bored students, white-collar office workers, and generally anyone who wanted to turn the mundane activity of chucking trash into a heroic MVP-level act. So, of course, grenade-throwing gamers adapted the phrase into just about any game that features the act of throwing a projectile to win. In gaming, the Kobe call is synonymous with accuracy, and that tradition has continued throughout the video game world, including one that I love, this video right here, in NBA 2K with users paying their respects to Kobe Bryant.